Hey guys, tonight we're going to talk about lookarounds. Now, lookarounds are another type of assertion, and they consist of two types of lookarounds, right? There are look-aheads and there are look-behinds. An assertion, and, and, and you know, these are really zero-length assertions, and what that really means is that they match characters, but they give up that match immediately and they only return the result of either positive or negative, right? So they either matched or they didn't match. But they don't consume any characters in the string. Um, they only assert whether a match is possible or not. That's what an assertion means, right? So these are in the same class as, say, carrots and dollar signs and word boundaries that we saw in the previous video, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at this situation here. Again, I'm using regex buddy just because uh, it's easier to look at the matches here, right? It's, it's, it flows better. So, okay, what we want to do is we want to find all of the words that start with sand, right? But or, where sand is the beginning of a word, right? So I want to find where sand is the beginning of a word. And we, we did that in the last one. So what we did here was we'll start with the word boundary. Oh. I have the hardest time typing sand. And here I've got the word sand, right? But I want to ensure that it's actually part of a word. And here I've done that. So I've found the word quicksand because, I mean, I've found the word sand quick because sand quick starts with the word sand. But the problem I've got here is I don't want to highlight the entire word. I don't want to match the entire word or capture it, right? I want to. I, I do want to match the entire word, but I only want to capture the word sand. I don't want to capture the word quick. So what we've got to do is we've got to be able to find a way to match the entire word, but only consume the word sand that we're interested in. And this is where the look around comes in, and more specifically in this case, the look ahead and what we're looking for here is what's called a positive look ahead so let me go ahead and show you the construct by itself to kind of remove any extra stuff right so we're gonna start with parentheses and we're gonna start with a, a question mark and an equals construct right here means a forward look ahead so Usually in regex, the parentheses means capture brackets, right? It means capture, it's, it's a capture group, right? But when it's followed by a question mark and some other symbol like this, then it takes it away from being a capture group and turns it into something else. And in this case, it is a forward lookup assertion group, right? So the question mark and the parentheses tell it that it is a forward assertion group and now inside of that you can put anything any regular expression in there you like so let's go ahead and put in our whack w plus right so what we're and, and i'm just going to finish off this before we talk about it hey i finally learned how to spell sand so you'll see here that what we've got is we're looking for any word that begins with sand but is followed by any other word characters. So that's going to be sand quick, right? But we are only consuming the word sand. Since we've put these word characters inside of this assertion, it's not going to actually capture those and use them in the return. It's just using them as a match. So what it's saying here, what it's saying here is, okay, I found the word sand, and it is at the beginning of a word. Now let's look ahead and see if there are any other word characters in there. If there are, then we'll use this as a match, but we're not going to return this portion of it as a match. So you can see down here with the, with the match highlighting that here I've got this match highlighted, and this is definitely part of it but it's not being returned as part of the match. It is not being, those characters are not being consumed. Now, we can do a negative look behind as well, 
I'm not, I'm, I'm sorry, not a negative look behind. We can do a look behind as well. So let's say I wanted to do the same thing in reverse. I wanted to find anything that is, that ends with sand and starts with something else, right? And I can even use a word boundary here, right? So we've actually got a couple different ways we can do this. Let's go ahead. I'm going to copy this in here. So let's see what this gives us. There we go. Now this is interesting because it gives me sand quick right there. It gives me the sand and sand quick, but it also gives me sand and it also gives me sand over here as free as, as standalone words, right? Because remember this here is a word boundary. And if you don't understand how all this works with the word boundaries and whatnot, I use this exact same example in the previous video on word boundaries. So go look at that. But you can see that we've got freestanding words here, and we are uh, we are capturing sand in sand quick. So that's because right here I'm able to use this negative look behind, or not negative. I'm able to use this positive look behind. Now before we had this guy right here. This is a forward look ahead, right? Because I'm using the question mark equals in here. If I add this caret in here, or this, this greater than symbol in here, this turns it into a look behind. And so what that look behind does is that look behind tells me that I want to look backwards now, which is what adds in these other guys. So what I'm saying is, I found the word sand right here and it is the beginning of a word oops, right here but now I want to look ahead I want to look behind this word or behind in my search so I want to look in front of this word and I want to see if there are any word characters in there if there are any word characters in there then I want to return that portion. And in this case, we're looking for something very specific. Let's look at sand-quick and see how this one gets built, right? It's easy to see how this one gets built because it is at the beginning of a word boundary. Now this can be tricky because let's take a look at quick-sand right here. You notice we get this match with sand, right? But we also get it here and we also get it as a standalone word. So this is, but we don't get it as quicksand, right? So let's walk through this really quick. This one will be the easiest to understand, so I'm going to start with this one. So here I'm matching the word sand right there, and then I'm matching the word boundary. There's my word boundary right there, so I'm saying I need a word boundary followed by the word sand, right? And now this guy right here I am looking for any word characters, oops, right there, any word characters, but this guy right here tells it to temporarily look backwards, to, to look previous to the match, to see if it can find any word characters before the sand and the word character, right? So what do I have here? I've got sand, and I've got a word character. And now I'm and now Regex is saying, look backwards now in your match and, and in your string and see if you can find any word characters before this. Well, here are some word characters. Oops. Here are some word characters before that match. So therefore, this match returns true. This entire match returns true. And this portion is actually consumed you get the same thing here, only it's a little bit less obvious. So here, I've got sand preceded by a word boundary, and again, there are word characters between, right? So here, I've got my match, because I've got my word boundary and sand preceded by my word characters. Same thing here, right? But it doesn't catch quicksand because there is no word boundary between quick and sand. 
This goes sand with no word boundary, so there's not a match, so therefore it can't really match this, so it doesn't do that. But if I were to say put a dollar sign in there, now it matches because now there's a word boundary in there. So okay, those are the basics of look ahead and look behind. And again, I'm going to summarize one more time for you guys. Look behind. In fact, let me get rid of this guy right here. There we go. Look behind is parentheses followed by a question mark, a less than symbol, and an equals. Now, the way I always remember this is this points to the direction that, it's, that you want to look. Now, a look ahead is just equals. So you can assume that the question mark, that this equal sign is kind of like full speed ahead into this regular expression that's going to be right here, right? Whereas the look behind points, I want you to makes it a whole big arrow that, hey, I want you to look this way, look this way, right? And inside here can be any valid expression whatsoever. There's more to be said on this topic. But uh, right now, I think that'll do before this gets too long. And I'll come up with, uh, with other videos on look ahead and look behind. And we'll even, do some negative look, we'll even do some negative look arounds as well, right? So for now, I hope that covers it. If not, uh, leave some questions in the comments. And good luck.